What's bracket lacking, everyone? MG here. And I'm back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With yet another cryptocurrency video. So let's get after it, guys. So happy Monday. I hope everyone had a good weekend. You know, mine was good. Lots of chilling. Um, been been fasting, you know what I'm saying, and going on uh, keto, and it's uh, it's a trip, guys. I don't know if, if you guys are doing that kind of shit, but it's really taking a toll on my sleep, guys. Aww. You know what I'm saying? It's it's tough, but uh, the energy is is real. It's it's definitely it's definitely not a scam this whole keto shit but anyways guys hope everyone's weekend was good uh so we, yeah we we've have we have some fucking volatility happening you guys uh lots of crazy shit happening banks attacking us as per usual arrangement you know what i'm saying but what else is new man we're but we're here you know what i'm saying we're here we are Do going it. to Do it. continue the the good fight right for financial sovereign uh what is it um owning our own money right fucking not having centralized banks telling us what to do with our money you know what i'm saying if you want to buy a banana suit or something then do it right it's your money right so what do we got here we got what is that orbit room up 677.66 percent Congratulations to Orbit Rooms. So, global market cap. I don't know what the fuck's happening here. Let me try zooming out. Um, let me see. We'll just flip over to coin market cap here. Global market cap, 1.028 trilly. And 24 trading volume, 155.64 billion. We got Bitcoin here hanging out at 22,476, down 0.18%. Uh, we got Ethereum here, 1,572. Lots of dumps, you guys. Lots of dumps. It looks like people are just, as per usual, freaking out. Come on, guys. The only time, you know, the only, in my opinion, the only time that we should be afraid like legit afraid is if this fucking coin right here does a double spin somehow that that'll pretty much i wouldn't necessarily say us go to zero overnight but it would practically collapse our market probably a little bit more than half because uh this coin here and its strength and its security is what's keeping us keeping us going probably ethereum will take over but um it would be a long recovery man if that happens like so anything else price volatility man don't even sweat that shit we got binance coin here 287 dollars xrpz 36 cents okb 48 bucks my cardano 33 cents we got dodge here at seven cents we got polygon matic dollar 14 man this was like dollar 60 a couple weeks ago man i'm glad i took some money off the table guys we got hexagons here at seven cents up 7.67 percent we got solana season twenty dollars and 98 we got polka dots here five dollars and 99 we got litecoin here 88 dollars and 55 cents we got shib my shib here not that no 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 one 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 six apparently crypto.com is listing bone uh y'all know i've been staking shiba since july 2021 i've yet to see how much bone i have uh waiting for me to claim it's literally been <laughs> yeah it's it's wild so we got tron here at six cents it finally fell below the seven cent marker we got avax here at sixteen dollars and fifty two and we got optimism at two dollars and fifty three cents we got my chain sync here nine dollars nine dollars six dollars and ninety four we got my monero 152 uniswap six dollars and forty i think their licensing for their v3 software is coming up i think 2020 sometime in 2023 the uh the code will be released so it's wild how that's already happening because i remember when they deployed v3 everyone was hype everyone was expecting an airdrop nothing happened 
you know what I'm saying? So, and then they lock their code, but it's it's wild. Two years have already passed up. So, great value. Ethereum 1964. We got Filecoin six dollars and eighteen. Man, this was a hundred plus dollars. Let's see, we got we got H bar here six cents. I've pretty much slowed down my um, actually it's slowed down. I've already stopped because I already secured all my suicide stacks with Hedera. And if you guys don't know what I'm doing. I think two to three months ago, I released a crypto talk where I was just explaining what I'm doing with suicide stacking and low hanging fruit positions. Uh, HBAR is one of them. So right now I'm just chilling. And sometime, I think Q1 next year, I'm going to e reevaluate or Q4 this year, reevaluate what's going on with this, with this coin and see if I want to add more to it. But right now it's just hanging out in cold storage ready to dump in 2025 apecoin here for 80 not financial advice we got v chain here two cents y'all know i've been bag in the making since 2019 eos dollar 22 we got my graph here at 14 cents phantom 41 looks like the stacks pump is finally slowing down 75 theta token look at that still holding the dollar when it falls below a dollar again i'll i'll probably increase my next dca into theta but i've been scaled back into this tier luna classic scrolling down wow dash 63 bucks zilliqa two cents loop ring 32 wow scrolling down here baby doge i know Comey's wait gala y'all know I've, I've already secured my suicide stacks of this months ago so i'm done with that just chilling and we got my ecomi here at not dot no 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 nine three nine y'all know i collect real physical comics so that is a no-brainer for me not financial advice so that is our markets there we're pretty much bleeding but that's okay guys you know just more opportunity just know that the blocks continue to be confirming you know the day that that doesn't happen then that is actually legit time to start sweating but you know blocks are still being confirmed and we're still moving forward no matter what mainstream media or senators from said countries will say about us you know what i'm saying and let's take a look at our gas prices here right now. Two figs across the board. 37 for low, 37 for average, and 39 for high on-demand blocks. Let's take a look at our fear and greed index. Right now, we are neutral. I'm actually shocked. I thought we would be more in the fear area. But uh, yeah, I guess you could say that we're neutral. Neutral today, neutral yesterday, neutral last week, and last month we were greedy. And boy, oh boy, I'm so glad I took money off the table because i was able i was that allowed me to scoop up even more lux and not eat they're not even capex you know what i'm saying not financial advice and we're we're getting really close to this side guys and again like i've always said man like this shit has never failed me when this motherfucker's down here perhaps it's time to fucking buy up not financial advice and when it's over here perhaps it's time to sell not financial advice let's take a look at lux here let's refresh and uh, just in case, you know what I'm saying, if y'all are in my Discord or not, um, uh, on February 22nd, I was officially short at 1038 for Lux and, I, and my open order of 974. Clear, Dean Am Shang. So, uh, yeah, it was, um, it was nice. It was nice seeing all them, all them L's. You know what I'm saying? Just appear in my trading portfolio. You know what I'm saying? Not financial advice. So uh, yeah, it was really good. Just uh, scooping up, scooping up more lux, right? So we got 947 here. Lyxe, right? Rank 230 up 0 0.60 percent for 40, 4200 sats. What? We'll round up 4200 sats up 0 0.36 percent. Not that, not not six zero one seven ETH up zero point three nine percent. Market cap one forty five milli. Twenty four hour trading volume seven hundred twenty four k sub one million. It's all good. Circ supply fifteen, max supply one hundred. That is going to be changing here very very soon when we cut off into main net. Y'all know that Lux has been 
pretty, pretty vocal on the socials about transitioning into the main net. So it's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait. Do it. Do it. So let's take a look at the charts here. So let's take a look at the weekly here. We got money flow. We've officially hit the sell signal on the 27th of February. That was literally last week. And now we are on a downtrend. Money flow is actually looking like it's all going on a downtrend as well. Last week, I was bullishly neutral, but now I can definitely see a downtrend. Stochastics pointing down and VWAP under the zero line as well. And as far as the chart goes, we've officially posted two white weeks with a sell signal as well. It's looking like the bull flag that I wanted to draw might be invalidated. You know what I'm saying? EMA ribbons are still bullish, and we did bounce off of this EMA level here at 936. But, you know, it is what it is. More opportunities to scoop up Lux. And, yes, our infamous 290 still stopping us, stopped us four times at 1179. So it's looking like we are going on a downtrend here. We have many levels to bounce off, bounce off of 893. 871 and of course the bottom of the flag here at 814 so we will see what will happen now as far as the two day is concerned email ribbons are still bullish which is actually quite nice some good volatility there so since we identified the sell sell signal on the 20th we are still on a downtrend and we are still waiting for yet another local bottom Inter interestingly Interestingly enough, money flow is on an uptrend. However, everything else is pointing down, so we may see a bearish. We have a bearish divergence happening with the money flow, but we had this beautiful pump over here over the last month or so. You know what I'm saying? Full disclosure, I did not take any money off the table off Lux. You guys know I am not taking any money off the table until 2 to 3x from all time high. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how bullish. I am. I'm just you see Yang, man. Never stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm not so we will see when we will get the local bottom. I'm hoping that it will lead up into Uncle Jerome's announcement because that's happening on the 15th, guys. So hopefully we'll see something maybe by Saturday the 18th after the market's digested what the fuck he's going to say on the 15th, right? So as far as the chart is concerned, we've posted multiple, multiple two-day white candles. And again, our 290 ceiling has just stopped the momentum here. And we are just moving back on down. We have these levels to bounce off of. However, the next level that we could bounce off of is 875. We will see. I mean, again, guys, more opportunity to take money off the table. Uh, politically and globally, things are starting to heat up. A lot of these banks and senators are putting a lot of pressure on us again for some reason, even though, you know, banks literally launder trillions and trillions of dollars of, of our money, assuming you're from the U.S., from the us, and, you know, they just get a little slap on the wrist and then pay the, pay the SEC, you know, $20 million, you know what I'm saying? So it's just ridiculous there. Aww. So uh, just look at it as a positive because nothing has changed in terms of fundamentals with lux and nothing has changed with ethereum or bitcoin or cardano these blocks are still continuing to press on you know what i'm saying let's take a look at the one day just to see a little bit more volatility here so yeah stochastics downtrend money flow clear downtrend and we are nearing a bottom here i'm hoping that we'll see one maybe by the 14th because if we were to draw this yeah we could see one on the 14th the day before fomc because you know these leakers they always have uh, some insider information on what the fuck uncle jerome is going to say right and i think the 14th is when he's going to announce the economic data 
and the 15th is the official announcement 25 or 50 i still think he's going to do 25 but he could do 50 or maybe he might go balls in and 75 to really spook us but uh you know we will see i'm hoping that neil kashkari's words will still be in play where he said that we're going to stop at five to five point two five percent and stay there but now i'm hearing guys talking about six percent so i don't know man we'll we'll see you know what i'm saying we'll see but yeah this is what i'm expecting here and as far as the chart is concerned yeah it's looking like we are definitely on a downtrend and we could we could be visiting 878 um i don't have any open orders right now because you know i i i hit it big with my 974 um three weeks ago so i'm just watching and waiting and see what will happen uh, we could create some more structural support here at 917 or 920 we'll see but right now um people are just anxious right you know they're just anxious but you know use that as an opportunity you know what i'm saying to continue on with with, with your plan remember guys everyone's plan is different everyone's situation is different you know what i'm saying and uh just uh, trade and buy responsibly you know what i'm saying none of us are paying your bills it's up to you to make that decision but if you're listening to me through the wire you are in the same boat as me in terms of believing mr fabian you know what i'm saying and queen marjorie's vision because uh it's just going to usher in a new era of uh of cl digital digital drip collectibles security it's just going to be so good and um we're just here we're just here and th th this is just a blip in time guys when we are sitting at three to four figs knocking on five figs years from now two to three years from now like we're just gonna be we're just gonna be talking about this kind of shit like remember when fucking this and this happened and lux was that fucking ten dollars man you know you're sharing your screenshots with your friends that you fucking market bought you know instead of just instead of buying instead of buying some weed you just decided to buy some lux and you're just like yo the this ounce right here <laughs> this ounce right here 500x you know what i'm saying instead of buying that i bought lux instead so yeah imagine that imagine that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one later